Cooperation between Kenya and Somalia has largely centered around security that has been a key challenge in the Horn of Africa state since a civil war broke out more than two decades ago. Somalia is grateful to the government and people of Kenya for their contribution to peace in Somalia by sending Kenya defensive forces as part of the African peacekeeping mission to Somalia. It's a gesture that we, uh, we appreciate and we value uh, very highly. With peace gradually returning, Kenya is expanding bilateral trade cooperation with Somalia under the Joint Commission on Cooperation. So far, direct flights between Nairobi and Mogadishu are operating smoothly with the two countries keen on further deepening aviation collaborations. On health, 200 nursing students will be trained in Kenya with the first batch expected at the Mandera Medical Training College in September, another 50 in March next year and 100 in September next year. The Ministry of Health has identified and is in the process of setting up a college in Garissa for this purpose. It has, however, not factored this training in the 2017-2018 uh, financial year budget and therefore requires about 59 million to commence the training. This which amount will cover the cost of tuition and boarding, which is something that the government is working on and will be provided to the ministry. Additionally, 200 teachers will also be trained. Sharing the longest border, the two countries are also seeking user-friendly customs and immigration documents for communities to facilitate ease of movement of goods and services. The waiver of a visa for diplomatic and service passports. Uh, on that one, we're holding consultations with the department, our department of immigration. We've gone a distance and we hope that we'll conclude that before we have the fully-fledged JCC. A fully-fledged joint commission for cooperation meeting in Mogadishu is slated for October to finalize any outstanding issues. Ronald Willie, News Our Business. Thank you,